Hi, thanks for listening and joining me on this journey. This We're on this essential guide to CBD. We are on S, or for, and this one is sleep disorders. Sleep disorders uh, are huge. It's the number one medical complaint that doctors get in our country. Um, it affects so many people. So, and it could be a, a variety of issues. It can be trouble falling asleep, trouble staying asleep, insomnia, and then you could have sleep problems because you have pain or anxiety. There could be other reasons causing you to not be able to sleep well. And so this, uh, they've done studies. And so prescription sleep medicines are known to have problematic side effects. Um, so that's why a lot of people are turning to CBD. Uh, in, in the studies here, everyone that, not everyone, most people in the studies that have taken CBD have noticed Restful sleeps, they're not waking up tired, so you don't have that uh, morning hangover that you can get with other uh, sleep aids. Um, uh, like in the case of serious sleep disorders like insomnia, relatively large doses appear to provide relief. In one study, people with insomnia took 160 milligrams of pure CBD a day and had an increase in their total sleep time and fewer nighttime awakenings. Now, if you ever had insomnia, and now you're able to get some sleep. This is amazing. That is actually transformational. Um, this is, but uh, this current research supports the theory in a 2019 study published in the Permanente Journal, Colorado researchers investigated the health records of 72 men and women under psychiatric care who were given CBD uh, for anxiety and or poor sleep. After a month of CBD treatment, 79% reported improvements in anxiety and nearly 67% of them were enjoying better sleep. So if you're sleeping better, like sleep deprivation is a form of torture. So if you're sleeping better, then everything in your day is going to be better. And, uh, uh, you know, like their anxiety levels remain lower over a three-month study period. Their sleep scores fluctuated, but their benefits uh, and the benefits were great so it's pretty amazing without the worries of the side effects of the pharmaceutical uh, so CBD may help you get a better night's sleep if you can't sleep because of chronic pain in 20 in 2007 study found that up to 50% of 1,000 people with pain related conditions like multiple sclerosis and cancer reported being able to attain good or very good sleep when um, taking a uh, Sativex. It's an oral spray medicine that is equal parts CBD and THC. Similarly, in 2017, a review of cannabidiol literature published in current psychiatry, psych psychiatry reports reported that CBD rich cannabis could improve sleep in people with chronic pain. So if you have pain and you have trouble sleeping, it's going to help alleviate your pain. It should, may, and of course, I'm not making any medical claims here. I'm just reading to you what the book has found, what the authors of this book have found from their research. Improved sleep is one of the most commonly mentioned benefits by people using CBD. And the benefits likely come from relieving other sleep wrecking conditions like anxiety or pain. Uh, this is pretty impressive. I just, may I sleep better, my husband sleeps better. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of clients that have taken CBD and their sleep is better, but it, it just makes sense. If you're an anxious, if you're having a lot of anxious feelings and it's keeping you, uh, not calm, it's going to be hard to sleep. If you're having a lot of pain, it's going to keep you also probably on the more anxious side, not calm, not able to rest. Uh, a lot of people have like, um, legs that shake and things like that and, taking something like a CBD where it's going to help your levels get back to what they should be, it's worth a try. Remember, the quality of your CBD is most important and being patient and taking it consistently every day and giving yourself a few days, a few weeks, a few months and, and keeping track of how you're improving. I think you'll be impressed. And if you're getting a good night's sleep, you're going to be so grateful. Thanks for listening.